Good morning children this is Jaycee Benoy your SST teacher I hope you are all staying safe and staying home do be careful take care of yourselves and your health wash your hands regularly and pray that we are out of this corona virus very soon Now today we are going to do a very exciting chapter called the realms of the earth and in this lesson we will be learning about the different compositions of the earth like what is the earth made up of have you ever wondered what it is made up of how we breathe what is this we are breathing now we know that there is the air right we know there is water and there is life on earth but how what makes it work so that is what we are going to learn about the different components of the earth and what it all means now the image that i've put up is of fish now where do fish spend most of their time on in they spend it in the water right what about birds where do they spend most of their time in the air correct and what about these animals that you can see from the forests right where do they spend their time mostly they spend their time on land so land water and air these are the components of the earth all the plants that you saw all the animals that you see all the birds that you see we all together the forests that you see these are all together the form no, both living and non living things a part of the earth so our earth includes all of this includes land water air plants animals and us so all of us together living and non living things make up the earth now all these things are interdependent we are all dependent on each other for our survival we humans and even the plants and the birds need air to breathe we need water to drink land to build our homes and plants and animals to feed on so these are all parts of the earth these are all realms of the earth what are they realms of the earth so we are just going to learn the terms that we call these realms the different parts of the earth what are they called <coughs> so the realms of the spheres of the earth include lithosphere which is the land hydrosphere which is the water atmosphere which is the air so what is lithosphere lithosphere is land what is hydrosphere hydrosphere is water and what about the air air is the the atmosphere is the air that we breathe so parts of these spheres make up the biosphere so all of this together makes the biosphere and biosphere is the zone or the place where the life on earth exists because of this biosphere we are able to exist all of us the plants the animals the fish the birds all of us are able to live only because of this biosphere which we have on earth and what is that how does that help us it helps us to breathe and all these together make the biosphere all right now let us look at biosphere once again what is biosphere biosphere is the zone where life on earth exists how does life on earth exist it exists because of the atmosphere that we have in the air which allows us to breathe in the air the land that we live on and the water that we drink from the hydrosphere so all these together are components of the earth called the realms or spheres of the earth and it is the biosphere of the earth where the zone where life exists of earth on earth and all these together form the biosphere so we need to remember these terms you need to learn this diagram practice this diagram at home where you have the lithosphere which is the land hydrosphere which is the water and atmosphere which is the air and all of these together form the biosphere and without any of these components we will find it very difficult to exist on earth so these are the realms of the earth now we are first going to study about lithosphere today 
please pay attention now what did i say was lithosphere lithosphere is the realm of the land so all that is land is the lithosphere and what is lithosphere it consists of three layers okay we are going to look at three major layers what are the three layers that we're going to study about the outer part of the earth is called the crust of the earth all right and as we dig in the next part of the earth that we come across is called the mantle now in this image you can see that the yellow portion of the picture is called the mantle all right and then as we go deeper and deeper into the center of the earth it is called the core of the earth now the core is divided into two parts the inner core and the outer core you can see that right the orange part in the uh, diagram is the uh, outer core and the red molten area is the inner core now you all have all heard this that the deeper we go inside the earth the hotter it becomes and as we go deeper and deeper it becomes really hot now why does it become so hot because the result the earth is a molten it is a molten area all right and it is made up of different components and as the layers because it is so hot uh, hot inside in the core that is why the layers change from solid which is our top crust portion then the mantle is also solid and as we go slowly deeper and deeper it starts becoming semi solid all right it becomes semi solid because it is so hot so everything is melted but it is not flowy it is like a semi solid state and only the inner core rem remains this portion which you can see in red that is not semi solid that is solid why is that solid do you think that is because there is so much force put on by all the other layers which are there on top of the inner core what all are the layers which are there about the inner core the outer core the mantle the crust and all this includes all the layers of the earth the rocks the on uh, the life on earth all this pressure that has gone on top of the earth has put so much pressure on the center of our earth that it has become solid all right so in between we between the mantle and the inner core we have a semi solid area but the inner core of the earth is solid and why is that area solid because of the pressure that is put on it by the different layers which are there on top all right have you all understood this let me repeat now lithosphere is the realm of the land and it consists of three layers the crust the mantle and the core now the crust is the outer layer of the earth the land on which we live on and as we dig in we can see the rocks that we go in when you dig into the earth you see that there's soil then you come across rocks and so you come to know and that portion of the earth is called as the mantle and the deeper and deeper you further you dig all right you will reach the core of the earth now as you reach towards the core of the earth it becomes hotter and hotter and that is why in the mines when you go you will find that it is very hot why because it is this heat coming out from the core of the earth all right so it becomes very hot now because it is so hot the mantle starts melting so it has become into a semi solid area but it, they have found out that the inner core is not a semi solid in state in fact it is solid in state now why is the inner core solid why has it remained solid that is because it is because of the so much of pressure that has been placed on the uh, inner core by the up uh, all the other layers that are there on top of the inner core and that is why it stays solid now all of these together composed of rocks and minerals and the crust forms the uppermost layer now i told you all that and mantle is the middle layer while the core is the innermost layer of the lithosphere please go through this more carefully understand what the different parts of the lithosphere are why is the inner core solid why is the outer core of the earth semi solid all right what are the different parts of the lithosphere what is the biosphere how life exists on it what are the different parts of the lithosphere these are the things that you need to learn and remember and these all together make up the realms of the earth 
and which are important for our survival on earth and without which life on earth would not exist today we are going to stop here go through the video again carefully we will study about the other phases um, other realms of the earth like the hydrosphere biosphere and the atmosphere in the next video but please understand these concepts better and come prepared for the next video i'll stop here thank you take care